Hey there, and welcome back to Frostpunk. We are uh, back here, and uh, let's see let's see what we're doing. So I know we have a food shortage. Uh, there's four hungry, and there's quite a few sick. We did add this other. Uh, we added this care house as well as this medical post, but uh, I'm not sure if it's really working. And then also these like little heat things. I'm not really convinced that they do anything. You guys said that they don't really, and that like the overlap doesn't matter. So. I'm not sure if we want them on or not, like, yeah, they, like, really don't seem to do very much, in all honesty. Um, but uh, we are researching currently the coal thumper. After that, I think we definitely want to work towards steam level 2, because I think we really do need that um, here to be prepared for this next temperature drop in several days. Hopefully we can get that research in time. Uh, we also have the automaton thing coming back here in a day, uh, a little more. This guy is four hours out from investigating something. And uh, you guys did mention, though, that, like, we should get this, uh, what was it, resources? This gathering post, because that will, like, help people not freeze. Uh, so people working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. And maybe it's, it's probably late at this point, uh, because, like, you know, we, we only have... There's a steel wreckage here, and there is a coal pile here, which I guess we are working, but there's hardly any left. There are coal piles here, too, so I guess this wouldn't be bad. Unfortunately, the radius is quite small. Um, we do need some more roads, though. Uh, let's go ahead and build out uh, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, game. Uh build a road out to there and then we'll build a road so it looks okay so we can only go in like these directions um, so I'm gonna come out to like here ish we'll probably need that anyway and then we will want a road out here somewhere okay so let's go ahead and get that done and we'll speed up time here because uh, then we, we will want to build one of these for sure that should help people from uh, not freezing and such uh, we do have a wood problem but or which almost a wood shortage but um do you, i mean this should be working right like bad health care corpse disposal oh yeah that's the other thing we needed um actually if we look can we get um there was a thing care house okay so this is what we need hmm, excuse me sorry i had to yawn so we can get a cemetery which uh, hope will rise slightly, no risk of disease from unburied bodies. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours. You will have to establish a cemetery. Or corpse disposal. Uh, bodies are preserved for potential future use. That sounds... <laughs> that sounds a little, uh, a little cryptic. Like, what, what are you going to do with the dead bodies? Uh, and hope will fall, discontent will rise. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and get a cemetery. Uh, I mean, the hope falling isn't too big of a deal, but uh, the discontent going up more is not great. Um, we'll be allowed to rest properly. Uh, uh, so there's even there's more people sick. Thirteen being treated, six amputees. So this is not good. Um, weather station. Okay, so there's coal and some steam cores. Uh, we found scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that observations ended abruptly months ago. There's also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they've moved out for good. We can see the city of Winterhome from the roof of the weather station. Sites discovered coal mine and Winterhome. So we'll take some of whatever that is and a steam core, looks like. Winterhome and coal mine. Um... I suppose we could look, look at the coal mine here. Uh, okay, so what I we, we have these steam cores. I'm not entirely sure like what we do with these. Uh, so let's read this. A band station uh, has got people talking. Finding that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder where the evacuation from London was a good idea. Uh, a few melenting openly. I know we shouldn't have come. Hope falls slightly. Great. Um... <laughs> And then this, a note of thanks. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid. Wow, that's an interesting way to put it. Uh, 
place like this makes life a little easier for us all. Hope will rise slightly. So it was kind of just a net nothing. Facility has been closed. Oh, oh well, yeah, that that's that. So steam cores. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what we do with these steam cores. Uh, good question. Uh, okay, so once this law is established, or do we just establish the law like just instantly? Can we get? A oh, we can get a cemetery. Okay, well let's get a cemetery uh, somewhere. Can will it fit here? It will not. Uh, it would fit there. We could put it by the uh, the. Wait, wait, is this a? Uh, that's a hunter's lodge. I kind of wanted to put it. I mean, there's a medical post right there, so this probably isn't such a bad place to put it. It's just like right there. Uh, and then we also may want to build. We are very low on wood. I don't. Is this like working? It has max people. It. I don't. It's like doesn't show me an output. I'm not sure why. This is not working. Um. But let's go ahead and get a gathering post. We are running so low on wood, man. This is not good. Uh, we could just, we, we could get that place for wood, I guess. Um, I guess we'll just build one like out here. So let's do that. And yeah, I'm not sure like what the deal is with this thing. Uh, I mean, it's eight to 18. Oh, okay. Well, it's early in the morning. I wonder, duh, <laughs> duh. Uh, this research hopefully will finish soon uh, because not everyone's so lucky. Yeah, well, you know, we can't help it sometimes, dudes. This should... I, I, I would have expected more wood from this, but maybe I just haven't given it enough time. This material established. Oh, prizes. Fantastic. So this... Wait, this only has half. We don't actually have enough. It's for an hour, which is okay. Um, Cold Thumper Research, fantastic. Okay, let's, we need to head towards the uh, heating thing. Generator power upgrade one, generator range upgrade one. I kind of want both, but I guess this would mean the steam levels. Let's go ahead and get this. We don't, oh my god, we don't even have the 50 wood, dude. Jeez. Um, there's no other wood things either. Because these are, uh, this is the coal piles. Iron ore deposit. I mean, there's trees. We need more people on this. So let's see, let's take, we actually just don't have enough people. Where are all these people working? Or maybe there's just like a ton of people sick and being treated and amputees. So we don't actually have that many that can work. We do have a fair bit. Well, let's see where everyone's distributed. Um, let's see, there, there. I mean, steel, we probably don't need this many people on. Uh, let's take these guys off. This one, we could take some children off of this. Uh, let's go ahead and reassign some people here. Oh, this can't even have children working at it. Ew. And this is a... But, oh, that's the gathering post? Okay, well, wait. Then if we unassign this, if we just, like, assign engineers here, and then... Let's... Let's do that. Let's assign children back to here. Boom, because that should hit this, theoretically. Although it's not showing that being hit, which is a bit... Unfortunate. Uh, and then this one... We'll max out and then this one we'll do that so mostly i'm just wanting to get uh and what were these these guys that look like trees but i, I think i think it's gone right it's done these guys shouldn't be working anymore oh maybe those were hunters um so this should get us some wood uh hopefully in time we have several more days we only need two more wood looks like we do have that so let's go ahead and research this will take eight hours. Uh, we are out of wood, uh, which I'm aware. We, we definitely, we need more people or we need this automaton quite badly here. Um, coal is okay. It's still going up. And gathering post resources depleted. I disagree. 
Yeah, that was a stupid idea because the thing was almost gone. I mean, I can put trees here. Or, not, there are trees here. I can put a, uh, whatchamathingy? Frozen trees. Wow, well, that was actually a really dumb idea to put this here. I, I should get rid of that. Now, let's dismantle that. Um, and we'll put, like, a lumber mill there instead. Uh, because that, that would that would be much better, I think, having, like, a lumber mill right here. Because wood is our bottleneck at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and get a sawmill out here. So there we go. The cats have reached the coal mine. Fantastic. So let's explore. Uh, this coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. So we can only take the store coal and get a quite a large amount of it. Only resources found on this site will be taken. We'll be able to restart the mine later. Or dismantle machines for resources. We'll get plenty of resources. We won't be able to restart the mine anymore. Uh, so we can get quite a bit of coal. Uh, I'm now realizing that that icon, which I didn't know what it was previously, is coal. <laughs> uh, but we can get a lot of coal, a ton of wood, um, steam cores, ton of uh, steel or metal, and then I'm not sure what that other thing is. Or that may just be the icon, meaning that we can't turn it back on. Uh, honestly, I mean, we're going to set up thumpers and stuff. I feel like turning the mine back on isn't going to be that important. So I'd actually like to dismantle that. Uh, he's waiting. We could go here. Weather home. So we just got... Did, did, we, not, did we not get wood? Did, what? Wait. What? Works out today. We dismantle the machine for and well can no yeah, but where's my resource? Oh, he just has all the resource. Okay. Uh I suppose we should like We may want to go to this convoy. We really need to bring these resources back home. I keep getting distracted by having him explore other stuff. Um so this thing is working at 53% efficiency, even though there's max people here. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Uh, absent 7 out of 15. Oh, 6 are building, 1's going... Okay. Uh, so, more sick beds need to cap. Some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick. Uh, I'll open a new medical post. Dude, we already have two medical posts. Like, how many do you need? Problem sick will be treated. I won't address disconnect or rise slightly. I mean, like, I already have two medical posts. How many do I need? I, I mean, I guess I'll build it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, geez, dudes, like... For goodness sakes. How, um... How difficult is it? We don't even have... Well, actually, we do have some people to work at that. Uh, okay, well, I, I guess we'll build another medical thing. Somewhere? Uh, we can't build it there, unfortunately. Or there. Uh, there's one here, and then there was... I think there was one actually over here, wasn't there? Yeah, so let's go ahead and get... Let's go ahead and get one, like, back here. Probably not a bad spot. I, I think spreading them out across the city is a good idea. I mean, that would make sense to me. Uh, okay, let's max this out. I don't know... Oh, this can only have engineer... Okay, that's interesting. So we have a bunch of children not doing anything, which I guess is fine. Um, the medical post is done. We can't. We don't even have people working there. As far as engineers, this is actually really. I need more engineers, man. I guess we'll just have two people working there. You help the sick. Hope rises. Okay. Yeah, but oh, we can do more laws at this point. Uh, ceremonial funerals. Uh, so this would get us uh, those who give their lives in the service of the city deserve the highest honor. Uh, so loss of hope caused by death is halved. That is maybe not a bad idea. Um, what was uh, what was this? Prosthetics. 
Everyone wants to contribute to the survival of our city. If we can bring amputees back to full fitness, we should do it. New blueprint. Prothesis available in the factory. Amputees full, uh, fitted with the prosthetics or prothesis uh, in medical facilities will be able to work it. So this looks like it's a, like a re it like adds a research because it's available in the factory, which I think is what does the research, right? That's uh, this guy here. Now that's a workshop. Uh, a factory. Can we even build a factory yet? Or is that just like... Um... I'm not sure. Uh, let's continue. Let, let's see. So we can get... So there's more food stuff. Food additives, which is like sawdust. I don't think that's the best idea. I don't think that's the best idea either. Public house. Uh, patrons of the public house are less discontented. Hope will rise slightly. Um, emergency shift. New ability. You can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. Don't know that's really needed. Child labor. All jobs. I mean. I hope we'll follow this. Kind of, um, this is a tough one, guys. Dueling law. Being able to duel reduces discontent. Each spontaneous duel will slightly reduce discontent. Sometimes people will be killed in a duel. Okay, well, that's probably not something we want to do <laughs> at this point. Uh, oh, there's extra rations for the ill. Or overcrowding. Using that extra capacity will cause discontent. Dis um, I mean, I, I can always build more medical places, right? I think I want to get this. This could be good to get some more workers to allow the return to work again. Uh, let's see. A note was left for the doctor who performed the amputation on the frightened patient. It reads, thank you. I was in terrible pain and blinded by fear and my choice would have doomed me. I may be without a limb now, but I'll live. Wow. Our hope is going up decently here. Okay, so I mean, I assume this is something then we can like build health. Uh, I don't really understand tech. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how we actually get that. Uh, we have a food problem. There's still people. There's two starving. Like, come on, dudes. We have two. I don't. I don't understand. We have two hunters' huts working fully, and then like, really? And we can't even get children to worry these either, so... Hmm... This is very much unfortunate game. Okay, well let's, let's, uh, let's change this. All the children are gonna work there. Well, th Oh, dude, nice! This thing's awesome! As long as it doesn't, like, turn on us, I'm a little bit nervous. Automatons. Let's actually read up on this. So, uh, down here, amputees. Automatons. So, the automatons can replace entire work crews at most workplaces. They are produced in the factory, which I guess we haven't unlocked the factory yet, and we're 24 hours per day. Their initial efficiency is 60%, but it can be raised by research upgrades. An automation, uh, an automaton recharges itself twice daily from the generator or steam hub by interfering with its operation. Uh, that's like, awesome. So, uh, I mean, like, I don't see anywhere I can assign him to work. Maybe he's just not actually here yet. I don't know. Are automatons dangerous? I'm kind of wondering the same thing, man. Our first automaton our automation is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire... We can research up... So that's pretty much just what said. Well, hello, sir. Welcome. Are you able to work somewhere? Oh, automatons. Okay. I like it. So how about... Let's do that. So he's gonna go do wood. 
I think. Th 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 theoretically, if he's uh, not lost. You better watch where you're walking. This thing is so cool, man. I love it. Don't step on the people. Oh my god, this thing's so cool. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get... Max that out. Max that out. Uh, that one we already maxed. Uh, I guess like, do we need more hunters' lodge, hunters' huts, or something? People are still hungry, which I don't really understand how that's possible. Be I guess I mean we are getting more people. I suppose we just need more food potential. Uh, hunters' hut. I mean, we could throw one like. I mean, we already have one here, somewhere. And we had one over there. We could throw one back here. I'm not sure, actually, is there room? Just so I know, is there room for a tent here? Can't see anything, game. Not really, there's not much room for anything there. So I don't think I'm in trouble. Like, I don't think it's going to be a problem kind of blocking that in. Uh, let's go ahead and get a hunter's hut back here. Uh, unfortunately, we are kind of expanding out quite a bit. So he's going to work here. And take over this job. I want to. I want to see what he does. Drawing boards researched. Fantastic. So now we can get one of these, and they're both quite cheap. Uh, I feel like the r range may almost be better for now. I mean, we may be able to knock out both before that. Oh my god, that's so cool! He just like turned into the building. Oh my god, I love this game. Dude, that's so sweet. Like, I wasn't sure if he was just gonna, like, stand on the trees or something. But, like, he just, like, combined with the building to take over. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, guys. This is this is awesome. Um, so, he reached here. Uh, we can explore. The streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. It's unpleasant. Uh, the city... Chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens increasing despair. The following squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy fights for dwindling resources and the eventual starvation. The last entry, God forgive us, we're eating our dead. There's no hope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Sites discovered, Freshwater Springs, American Camp. Okay, so uh, I kind of want to go here. Since Scott's here, learn more about this place. I, I I can't. Oh, he's he's maybe like full, huh? Let's send you back. Maybe that's why. Maybe he he can't do anymore. I think he's. We are alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. Hope falls. Great. Holy hell. Look how far that hope's falling. Probably shouldn't explore that place yet. They're all dead? How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in the frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of winter homes spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee London. Panic uh, is starting to set in. Great, and we just lost like all our hope. All right, so that we have two options. We can choose our path. People are shaken, uh, racked by fear and doubt. They're, they've lost hope in our chance of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. Uh, you have to unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide now what will give them purpose and restore hope, or else our city will uh, descend into the chaos that consumed winter home. So a new set of laws. Uh, we can do order and discipline, or we can do faith and spiritual strength. Um... I mean, that's a bit of a tough one. I, I think that in the end, the this one is going to work out a little better for us. Uh, typically, in games and real life, people don't respond too well to like, you know, putting the hammer down on them and stuff, and just like doing all and, and stuff like that. Um, so, I think I think we're gonna go this route. So we can get a house of prayer now. Uh, new building, house of prayer. New building, sermon, house of prayer. The temple, people 
living nearby will gather to pray, which will rise their hope. Uh, you will have to build two houses of prayer. Okay, well. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. I mean, once our scout gets back, uh, we should have more than enough resources to do that. Captain, we have found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up to attend it. Um, sure. Hope is uh, <clears throat> not doing great, but <laughs> I'm sure we'll be okay, right game? Uh, the unconvinced want to leave. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of people are still so scared they want to flee the city for longer than 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. Uh, you say that faith will save us? Nonsense. What are you going, what are we going to do to pray for food when we start to starve? Shouts out one of them. Uh, if we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like winter home. Oh, yeah, dudes. Londoners. Uh, so... Essentially, they're gonna try to convince other people to leave. Fear may lead people. People hope managers. Yeah, great. Okay, so. That's uh, that's not good. We need to build a house of stuff. House of prayer. Thirty wood. We can do that. Let's pause. Uh, I'm gonna get back to this view because it's what I'm used to. So we need to build two houses of prayer, which I'm running out of room here quite quickly. Let's actually get a road, and then I need to end this episode. It's quite long again, uh, but that's okay. Uh, okay, let's go around here. And of course, now we won't have enough wood, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, we won't have enough wood now for this, but I mean this thing's pumping out 4.8 per hour This one's pumping out 8 per hour um, And we pretty much already have enough if these roads can get destruct constructed, I should say Some of them are this would actually fit right here. Let's go ahead and, and do that get that guy built And then I'm gonna end this episode here guys. I am really enjoying myself. This is a very interesting game um, For sure. I love the automaton super cool and uh like, it'd be really cool if we had something like this in Factorio that, like, the robot itself would, like, go mine, like, an ore patch or something. That'd be really cool. But, anyway, that's going to do it for me for this one. I really look forward to doing the next episode. I hope you guys look forward to watching it. And leave any thoughts, questions, comments down below, tips, etc. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.